In this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix a common starting issue with a Cub Cadet lawnmower with a Tosher engine in it. Even if your Cub Cadet is not this exact model, um, this will work on pretty much any Cub Cadet mower that has a Tosher engine in it, even if it's not the 7000 series. Um, and basically the issue is, is that the mower will not start when it is, you know, choked or on uh, slow or no matter the throttle position. And you'll have to, uh, in order to, to get it to start, uh, a, a trick that you can do is to, you know, shoot a little starting fluid, take off this cover where the air filter goes. And then, you know, shoot a little starting fluid inside the filter and then shoot some starting fluid in there and then it'll start right up. And then once you get it started, you'll have no problem starting it from then on um, for the rest of the day while you're mowing or whatever. Now, obviously that is super annoying to have to shoot starting fluid in, uh, you know, fairly new mower like this and you shouldn't have to do that. So what is the issue that's going on? Now, you're not gonna have to buy any parts in order to, to solve this problem, but uh, it, it's really simple. So basically, when you wanna start up the mower, you usually put it all the way up into the, the choke position. Now, you might think your, your carburetor's dirty, you need to change um, this fuel filter or the inline fuel filter. You might think that you need to change the spark plugs. Um, already said clean the carb, you know, a lot of different things. None of that stuff is going to solve your problem. The problem is, is if you come down here, oh, crap, I just stepped, put my knee on my tool, uh, my wrench. Um, anyway, the problem is if you come down here, this right here that, ch that engages the choke is not coming all the way up. So you can go ahead and just push it up and then if you have someone sit on the mower and start it, it'll start right up without any starting fluid or anything. So this thing right here is not, you know, fully engaging. The way that we fix that is by loosening up this bolt right here, which is a, uh, an eight millimeter. And then we're gonna slide this uh, cable and adjust it. And then that'll trigger our choke all the way up and then it'll start right up. So we can go ahead and, and put the, the throttle back down, get eight millimeter, um, a one fourth in, or uh, three, uh, yeah, one fourth inch ratchet and extension. And then we'll go ahead and loosen up this bolt right here. And I was obviously had it on Titan. That holds that cable, you know, where it's supposed to be. And then we're gonna slide that cable over and uh, adjust it so it'll pull our our choke lever all the way up, you know, where it's where it's supposed to be. And I guess over time, you know, the adjustment just slipped or whatever, but I assume this is a pretty common problem. And uh, I hope that this video really helped you guys out. And uh, I'll go ahead and show you after I'm done that, uh, that this does work. And if yours is having this problem, you'll put it on full choke and you'll just, you know, start it forever. You can almost hold it till the damn battery goes dead and it's not gonna start for you. Or maybe it will after a very long time. Um, but if you don't shoot in any starting fluid, the damn thing will not start. So we'll go ahead and adjust this and that should fix your problem. Um, and we'll test it out here in a second. Alrighty, so now we got her all fixed and, and all I did was, I was thinking about it and I assume why this problem happens is because over time, this cable right here that uh, adjusts your choke and then it also adjusts your throttle probably stretches. So then it needs a little bit more tension on it. So what we did is we loosened this up right here and then slid the cable over this way a little bit to give it a little more tension. Now, you're gonna wanna be careful when you do this. You're gonna want your 
throttle position all the way down to slow. And you're, you're, you're gonna wanna be careful because the first time I adjusted it, I slid it over just a little more and it will actually uh, bend this little thing right here if it is uh, too tight. So you, you wanna go slow and it doesn't take very much to just, you know, barely uh, adjust it over where the cable is probably stretched or, you know, who knows, maybe it just uh, over time the cable slid, but I assume the cable probably stretched out a little bit. So we slid it over this way, closer to this thing would be closer to this, and it just takes a little bit. And then whenever you choke it, then it'll fully engage that choke and you won't have any uh, starting issues. So we can go ahead and uh, try and start her up right here. You obviously wanna put the choke fully engaged. Now it'll start right up. And the throttle works great. So, that's the way you're gonna fix this starting issue um, on a Cub Cadet more or any more that has a Kosher um, engine in it, even if it's a different brand. Please subscribe, 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 subscribe. Please give us feedback. Let us know if your more had this same issue. Um, we always love your feedback, positive or negative. Um, so please, we hope you learned something from this video and please give this video a thumbs up and until next time guys peace thank you so much for watching and we also got other uh cub cadet um uh tips and tricks on how to fix other things on this more for example uh got a video coming out where i changed the the blade belt and then also changed the drive belt as well um show you how to change the starting solenoid if yours is having won't start or having intermittent starting issues with the starter turning over um got a bunch of different videos for uh common problems and how to diy it yourself on this type of more and it works for a lot of different cub cadet uh, mores, even if yours doesn't have the steering wheel and has, you know, the more uh, traditional zero turn um, bars on it, still the exact same more. So thank you so much for watching and until next time, peace.